Starship. My name's Fabrizio Poli from BizJet TV, and today I'm here in space on this magnificent Starship, and I'm going to be talking to you about something interesting, is where are we going with business travel? What's actually going to be the future of business travel? So, we're going to be going into an interview in a minute with a, a prominent astrophysicist who actually founded the Mars Society, and he's going to give us a bit of insight, and we're also going to see what Elon Musk is up to, and how this is going to really revolutionize the way we travel and how this is going to really give us a lot more speed. So off we go. So, and of course, Musk has been the most outstanding of this. He is really Sputnik to NASA. He has shown not only can he develop things that they have or the mainstream aerospace contractors have developed, but in, you know, one tenth the cost and one third the time, mm -hmm. uh, he has shown that he can develop things that they had thought were impossible, such as reusable launch vehicles. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I must say that reusable launch vehicles won't just cheapen space. It will do that. Mm -hmm. It will also make possible rockets as a, a method of intercontinental travel. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. that's very uh, interesting. Intercontinental travel with expendable rockets is unthinkable. Um, I mean, my clients would love that. I mean, take off in a, in, in a rocket with 100 of your employees and get from London to Sydney in half an hour. I mean, that's, that's great. That's right. Anywhere to anywhere in less than an hour. Yeah. And uh, and this is going to become possible. And um, and I think, by the way, I, you know, I, I did a close examination of this design that Musk has presented for his uh First, it was the ITS, the Interplanetary Transport System, and they renamed it the BFR, scaled it down a bit to make it more doable, which was a wise decision. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at that, it actually is optimized for intercontinental travel, not for colonizing Mars. Mm -hmm. um, colonizing Mars is the vision, but uh, I think they're quite serious about intercontinental travel because that's what that system is optimized for. Yeah. Um, and, and in fact... You may know that they're putting the priority on developing the second stage, which is the, the wing thing um, that lands uh, somewhere else. And that is what is needed for intercontinental travel. And you say, why would you develop the second stage of an interplanetary transport without its first stage? Yeah. Well, clearly they have another priority in mind. And now if you think about this, we only launch 100 satellites or so a year. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, if it was cheaper, that might double or triple. But uh, so several hundred a year. But we have thousands of intercontinental uh, airplane trips every day. Yeah. Um, and so if, if spacecraft can get a piece of that market, uh, it, it will expand by at least two orders of magnitude the number of launches that we're doing. And that is what is needed to make the cost per launch drop by two orders of magnitude. We have to do that. And, and then I think it's but a short um, journey from things that fly through space to go from London to Sydney. Mm -hmm. Okay, taking advantage of one of the unique attributes is no drag. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, it is a no drag medium. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, aircraft were a lower drag medium than previous. Mm -hmm. And before that, ships were a lower drag medium than land transport. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how transportation has evolved, looking for lo ever lower drag mediums. Yeah. Uh, but it's only uh, a short step in that. Say, well, instead of just going from London to Sydney, why don't we loop around the Earth a couple of times and then land in Sydney? Well, now you're taking four hours or so to do the trip, yeah. but you're enjoying zero gravity. You maybe have windows, you can get the view of space. Uh, so, you know, that's like taking a boat on a, uh, a day trip, you know, pleasure cruise. On the lake, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, on the, on the lake, on the river, in the bay. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that opened your mind. We're going to be connecting every city to every city in less than an hour. So you'll be traveling from Vancouver to Shanghai in 35 minutes, London to Sydney in 40 minutes. 
amazing once we start traveling by rocket and so what you need to start thinking here is yes I want a business jet but the future is actually going to be in the business rocket now I know that recently we did see that Boeing are developing a hypersonic aircraft and I'm sure that some people will buy the hypersonic jet but if you really really want to get the edge you need to travel by rocket and that's going to be the future of business travel that's all from Fab Party at BizCheck TV so remember to subscribe to this channel like this video and share and that's all from me from the Starship Enterprise, all from your captain, Fabrizio Poli. See you on the next one.